How's it going guys? It's the middle of February here. I'm out here on one of my favorite Kansas farms. This food plot you see right here behind me, I planted two turnips and radishes last year and it did really, really well. It is providing a lot of good food through the winter months here uh, to keep my deer herd healthy. Uh, this food plot here means a lot to me. I've actually killed two of my biggest bucks out of this food plot right here. Um, it's been a very, very hot spot over the years. We rotated into different crops. And last year, it was time to do some brassicas, some turnips and radishes. That said, um, this plot works really, really well when it's like clovers, alfalfas, some sort of legumes. I've got a blind set up over here for a south wind and early season, this spot right here can be dynamite. It's been about four years since I've had it into a clover plot and uh, it's about the perfect time of year right now to do some frost seeding. So we're gonna put this thing back into clover. Okay, so right now, middle of February, we have the perfect conditions for doing a little frost seeding. And what are those perfect conditions you might ask? Well, we need number one, freezing and thawing. We need it to be getting above freezing during the day, but we need to get it below freezing at night freezing and thawing effect. And I'll explain that here in just a little bit. We need some soil moisture, which we also have right now. And if you can, um, especially in, I love frost seeding into turnip plots and radishes and stuff like this, because the way those big bulbs, you know, like we have right here, this one's actually been eaten a little bit. The way these big bowls work, you know, they're making a lot of little crevices and things out here in this plot in the dirt for those little tiny clover seeds to fall down into. So those are kind of the three main things you're wanting. A little bit of open soil, good soil to seed contact. You're wanting some moisture and you're wanting that freezing and thawing effect. So let's go back to the freezing and thawing effect. Why do you want that? Well, basically I'm gonna go out here and I'm going to broadcast my clovers into this existing turnip and radish plot. Those seeds are going to fall down in here. It's going to warm up during the day so that moisture is going to thaw out and then when it starts to freeze at night it's going to freeze that moisture so basically that soil is opening and shutting in a way and what that's going to do is suck those seeds down into the ground to get even better seed to soil contact so that's number one that's what we want we've got the perfect conditions for it right here number two like i said if you have moisture in the soil the more moisture the better because you're going to get more of that freezing and thawing effect so you're going to suck that seed down into the ground just the perfect amount and here in a few months we should have just a beautiful green carpet of clover out here all right guys we move back here to the back of the truck here show you guys what i chose to put into this food plot as far as clovers go and this year we're going to give the evolved harvest clover pro a try i'm excited to give this a try um, this has got a lot of the clovers that i like in it it's got some whites and some reds it's a really good mix of the two uh, which I personally really like. And uh, one thing I wanted to kind of touch on, I guess, a little bit here is when you're frost seeding, you're going to want to do a little bit more than the recommended rate. So one of these bags is a quarter acre. This food plot back here behind me is a little more than a half an acre. So I'm going to actually do three bags. So two of these would obviously do a half an acre. But I'm going to add a third in there just because frost seeding isn't perfect um, it's not like i'm drilling these seeds into the ground so there's going to be some that might land in a few different spots that you know aren't great seed to soil to contact so with that said i'm going to add an extra bag so we're going to put three quarters of an acre's worth of clover seed on basically like 0.6 of an acre so this should work out really good if i need to come back and overseed it at another time i definitely can do that but this should work really good we're just going to use this simple little scott's uh lawn grass seed thing uh, spreader should work really good um, i've used these in the past for many different little food plots they work great for clover the clover seed falls right down in here really well uh, you can set this thing pretty precise we'll show you how to set this thing up uh, so that you don't waste your seed here real quick all right so like i said this is from scott's here there's a million different types of these little spreaders i've even seen there's battery operated ones now which would be pretty cool but you've got all these different settings here and basically what that's going to do like I'm on one here, if you can see in there, that opening is not very big there at one. But if I move this thing clear up to five, it's gonna open the whole thing up. So that's basically going to regulate how much seed is coming out of this thing. Now, I will show you here on this, nice thing about these bags, it shows you the clover inside. Those seeds are 
tiny, if you can see that, guys. Their clover seeds are very, very small. So I don't wanna waste this stuff, basically, is the deal. So I'm gonna start, usually when I get a new one of these, I'm gonna start at the first setting when I'm broadcasting clover. That might need to be changed, but the nice thing is I know that I'm not gonna be wasting seed. So if I have to walk around this thing two different times, so be it, at least I didn't waste the seed. You know, if I'm putting out too little of seed. Once you kind of start using one quite a bit, um, you're gonna know where you need to be as far as the adjustment goes on this to get your exact quarter acre or acre. You're gonna know your pounds per acre, basically. But we're gonna start off with one here today with the Clover Pro and uh, see how this goes. Let's get to spreading. <laughs> 